I've escaped to Vietnam and promised one of the best cooks in the country that I'll get to grips with this unique cuisine in just a week. I'm hot-footing it out of Ho Chi Minh City and flying 1,500 kilometers north to the capital, Hanoi. It's a huge learning curve for me. It'd be very ignorant from a chef's point of view not to embrace their understanding of they waste nothing and eat everything. Hanoi is a communist stronghold. Traditionally, this part of the country has a no-waste culture. They are experts in nose-to-tail eating, and one notorious female chef has made a reputation cooking just one ingredient. Now, this lady's a bit of a hard ass, a bit of a legend. I'm in Hanoi for two days, and I'm here for inspiration. I'm gonna get in there, see what she's up to, and hopefully, yeah, like a magpie, steal some ideas what she's doing. Jesus. Where's the boss? Hello. How are you? Good Xin to chào. see you. Xin chào. Xong đẹp trai thế. Uh, Gordon. Ông ông tên là gì? Ông tên là gì? Uh, ông tên là gì á? Ông này. What's your name? What's your name, man? Luckily for me, a local restaurant owner has come to my rescue. Madam Qua. Madam Qua. 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 Madam Qua. K H O I. Oh, Madam Qua. I thought you said quack like the duck. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, it is quack. <laughs> and you are? My, my name is Rice. Call me Quan. Quack, quack. Yeah. Mr. Rice and Mrs. Duck. Yes. <laughs> so where's Mr. Peking? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't want to piss her off. Yeah. I want to keep her on the good side. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I heard she has a ferocious temper. Is it all right? Three cleavers by the side of her. <laughs> uh, very sharp, very sharp. Yeah, yeah. How many ducks a day does she sell? Madam Ngan. Madam Ngan. Ông Tây đặt cho Madam Quan là Madam Ngan. Duck Lady, is the name. Duck Lady. She kills about 100 ducks a day, that's why her name is Duck yeah. Lady. How many husbands has she killed? Uh, uh, one. Mrs. Duck has spent 30 years perfecting her menu. But before I get to taste it, she wants me to meet her key ingredient out back. What are these little babies here? How old are they? Can I do them? They must be days old. About 10 days old. 10 days old. And how old are these? Four months or five months. Four months old. So, so uh, which ones are we going to use first? This is the oldest one. Yeah. yeah I got oldest one. One. And this one? And this one. In order to find the plumpest bird, Mrs. Duck has devised a unique test. Why, why are we can doing you, that? Can you, can you hear the sound? Yeah, yeah. Drum Hi. the duck to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Madame Kwan never touch, just listen to just the sound. Just listen to the sound. All right. So she's, wait, she's listening for a weighted, yeah. heavy yeah. sound. I can't believe I'm doing this to a duck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A lot of meat. There's a lot of meat, yeah. That, that sounds good. I'm beginning to think Mrs. Duck is quackers, but her dish is famous throughout Hanoi, so she must be doing something right. So this is how she prepares a duck every day? Yes. And it's important to bleed the ducks, otherwise it's going to spoil the texture of the meat. I get that. But why is she cutting it there? Because here, just stay away from the stomach. You may get the bad food from the stomach into the blood. Yep. Yeah. She believes in slaughtering them just before she started cooking them. So it's done that fresh. So it's always fresh like that. Just always slaughter it. and then cook it. So start off with the neck, yes? Yeah. Uh, take more hairs off. No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. From the head. Yeah. That's the labour of love. Does she never get bored plucking ducks? Ducks give her everything. Oh, really? Yes, houses and everything. The duck is the, the, the goddess of her house. The duck is the goddess of her house. <laughs> she do it very quick, Gordon. Anything to keep her happy. <laughs> now the dirty work is over, Mrs. Duck wants to give me a lesson in nose to tail butchery. Straight down the middle. Yeah. Pass the cleaver to her. She wants to teach you how to. She, want, she wants to now teach me how to sharpen a knife. Sharpen Hey, right. hey. Kung Fu, yeah? Mrs. Duck. <laughs> yeah. Straight off. Okay. Off. Yeah. Put Nick. Oh, okay. It's amazing. But I've never actually slaughtered one in the kitchen, taken its feathers off and butchered it from there. Yeah. Is there anything of the duck that she never uses? You see that? Yeah. Oh, the glands. That's the bile. The bile. Very bitter. Yeah, if that bursts over the duck, it ruins the texture of the duck. Yeah, smelly. <laughs> Very yeah. smelly. I'm enjoying myself. I'm about to learn Mrs. Duck's sweet and sour sauce. But all of a sudden, she's become tight-lipped. 
So nobody knows this recipe I'm about you. I'm only her. Only nobody her. knows. OK. This is her life. So not easy to give her life. I'm not asking to marry her. I'm asking for the recipe. <laughs> it's you and I. <laughs> Look at me. Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Mrs. Oh. Duck. Check it out. Chilies. Yeah, uh, chili, yeah. yeah. Lemongrass. Oyster sauce. OK. Yeah. A dark bean curd. Oh. No. Sugar. Why, why are you being such a hard ass when I've just plucked your ducks? She told you even her husband doesn't know about that. Serious? My God, you? Huh? You're one off. She's unique. She's like a fine bottle of wine. They only produce one bottle. <laughs> She's amazing. Huge source of inspiration. More importantly, she knows her stuff. I mean, big time. So she hasn't focused on 25, 30 dishes. She's just focused on a unique way with duck. She shows no mercy. Straight in there. Nothing squeamish about Mrs. Duck, is there? I'm a little bit fucking scared, to be honest. While her signature dish cooks, I'm going to sample the rest of Mrs. Duck's menu. So many different ways, different sort of styles of cooking duck. It's amazing. You want to try the hat if you want to? Uh. Easier. Nice and tender. That's good. That's very good. That's the yeah. duck stomach. Oh, well, it's very chewy, that. Mm. That's nice. It's got a leathery liver texture to it. Now for the main event. The barbecue duck is ready. So it's mixed with the marinade and then on top of the charcoal grill. That's great. And then the fan, obviously, to uh, intensify the heat. Yeah. Nice. That is delicious. And she's managed to use everything. Even there, as a piece of the leg, it's, it's amazing.